Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Count. So today, we're back for another round of the Master Mode Let's Play. And in today's episode, well, our main focus is going to be Plantera. And let me tell you, because I've been thinking about this quite a lot, this really is the point in Terraria's progression where things just ramp up really, really quickly. Because here we are, we're ready to do Plantera, all the mech bosses are out of the way. And you all know that once you do Plantera, Gollum is a pushover, right? Even still, even with the changes, you do Plantera, you do Gollum. Once Gollum's out the way, you decide, you know, as a person, do I want to do an event? Do I not want to do an event? Because you could do like the Frost Moon, or you could do the Pumpkin Moon and maybe get some different weapons or accessories, or maybe not. And then you move on to the Lunatic Cultist, and before you know it, you have beaten Terraria. Yeah, things uh, things really ramp up, and I'm curious to see how it's going to ramp up as somebody using melee. Because I, I haven't done this in a very long time, and, and definitely not in 1.4. But I've got to be honest, I'm very excited to see what the Terrorblade versus Plantero is like, because I've never done it. Anyway, hey, that was a big intro. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, washing those hands. I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't know when I don't know when to dial that back. Like when do we when do we take away washing your hands from Chippy's couch? Because right now, they they're basically intertwined. You know, I feel like we can all agree on that. Every day, washing those hands. It's very important. But when does a pandemic stop? I don't even know. I really don't. Like, at what point is it is it over? Because I've never lived through one. You've never lived through one. Do we have an idea on that? This is a weird tangent. Uh, so what are we doing to start off with? Well, I said yesterday, I do want to try and get the uh, the warrior's emblem. But thinking about it now, I could just change the emblem I've already got into an Avengers emblem and save the time. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that now. I might do it. I might. Well, we'll see, right? I'm going to go down to hell and uh, and farm out for some um, some guide voodoo dolls. And if it turns out that we get one pretty quick and we do the wall of flesh pretty quickly and we get it, you know, we won't bother. But I'm pretty sure we can use the Avengers emblem for something else anyway. So, uh, so I guess it would be important. So I don't know if anybody's seen this, but one of my, like, little favorite changes in, uh, in Terraria 1.4 is that the, the Titan's Glove now makes any weapon auto-swing. That is actually amazing. And when you're playing as a summoner, uh, having uh, whips auto-swing is just great. Like, I would recommend it to anybody that finds using whips annoying because they're uh, they're single-click. Are they single-click all the way through the game? I can't remember. But uh, but yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's cool, right? It's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little change. I like it a lot. Yeah, let's uh, let's stick around for uh, some guide voodoo dolls. You never really know how frequently these are going to spawn, and I find that it's kind of hit or miss. So I think what I'll do is I'll take a, uh, a water walking potion now, and I'm just going to chill out. We're going to zone out. We're chilling. It's all going to be good. So did everybody have a good weekend? I said this the other day, but I always ask, and everybody's like, James, come on now. Every day is, I don't know, a Tuesday. Today is actually Tuesday. It's not even Monday. I'm speaking as if it is Monday because my, my time is all off. Basically, I filmed a video on Sunday and I was having some um, some issues rendering it out. So, uh, so I put it out on Monday and now I've lost track of time. I'm sorry, but I have. Hey, look at that guy voodoo doll. Nice. That actually didn't take too long. Uh, I'm pretty thankful for that. All right, we've got to watch out because there's uh, another red devil. I just killed one a minute ago. So these drop the uh, the fire feathers, don't they? The ones that turn into, like, the flaming wings. Or demon wings, is that what it is? Right, okay. I need to wake up today because <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm not on it. So I guess the, uh, the better question is, did everybody have a good Monday? Yeah? What did you do? What's it like for you these days? What's, uh, what's a normal Monday? So I um I just carried on with uh with gardening work. I spoke about in the Sunday episode that came out on Monday. Not confusing at all. Uh, I spoke about um painting the fence, and that's basically what I did on Monday. I finished the job. I was speaking about how um how I basically ran out of paint. Yeah, that was that was kind of annoying, but um but yeah, I basically woke up, 
cracked on, did a little bit more painting. It was good stuff. It wasn't bad. Um, nice way to spend a, a Monday, which felt like a Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, so let's get healed up. Let's get ready to do this. This isn't exactly going to be hard, or at least I hope not. This would be a little bit strange if it was. But what I will do is I will go fight it uh, where I usually would, or at least get a little bit more left. Because I know that when we did the Wall of Flesh, we basically cleared out a good amount of space on the left. Which is like my preferred way to, to fight the wall of flesh. I don't know about you, but um, yeah, I naturally gravitate this way. I do it in pretty much every series. I really don't know why. Like when I've seen people do it the other way, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I remember when um, when we were doing the uh, the modded trailer and we had a scene in it that showed off um, masochist mode in the Fargo's mod. And I remember Chaos built it to the right. And I, like, I remember filming it thinking, oh, this is really weird. This don't feel right at all. <laughs> it's odd. All right. So let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's, uh, let's go a little bit further. I really like how you can double dash and, uh, and open this mount and it gets to full charge. Very nice. This is actually a pretty sick mount. Whoa, let's get it in there. All right. Okay. Let's see. So I wonder, like, just how quickly the Terrorblade works against this. Like, do I need to keep my distance? I want to know, from people that use melee often, is the trick to the Terror Blade using the stuff that fires and the stuff that swings, or is it just a, um, is it just use one or the other? Do you know what I mean? Like, is it better to be up close doing stuff like this, or should I be keeping my distance? You know what I mean? All right. I've almost failed this fight, just through, like, pure, um, neglect of health. Great. <laughs> Here I am going, oh, it's, it's nice and easy. If I get hit by another laser, literally dead. Okay, can I have some health? I think that's the only decent thing about hell. It's, it's just filled with pots that give health. God, if one of those demons show up, I'm actually dead. That's all right. We're just going to run away for a little while. We're going to get healed up. Look, we got forever to fight this thing. All right, are there any pots down here? No. <laughs> Why has this gone so terribly? What's going on? This should have been an absolute breeze. Okay, there we go. We got some health. Right, we can we can kind of we can go back now. As you can see, it's moving quite quickly because I, I took quite a bit of health off of it. Right, there we go. Come on, no no no. There we go. Right, that was way more tense than it needed to be, and I'm really sorry for that display. Okay, what do we get? We got a range emblem. Well, all right. Okay, well that's something at least. So let's go turn that into um into an Avengers emblem. Sorry, I'm just gonna move my microphone. My microphone is very squeaky. The arm. I need to get some like WD-40 on there. Right, okay. Um, right, we're banging it with this, aren't we? With these three. So let's see. An Avengers emblem. Do you have to make this here or do you make it over here? Ah, you make it over here. Okay. Yeah, so this will give a 12% increase in damage. And obviously with a, a bit of a reforge, that can be a little bit better. So let's go give it a quick reforge. And then um, and then that should be as good to go. I don't, I don't fully know what I want to swap out. Like, I could, for example, if I made some better wings, I could easily swap out the uh, the horseshoe and a balloon. But for now, I guess I'll take that off. But I, I think, I don't know. There are there are way better accessories to make. But the thing is, I feel like I could do Plantera right now. So it's almost like I, I don't really want to invest the time right now because it's not. I don't know, it's not that important, do you know what I mean? So this is what you love to see when you come to the jungle and uh, and there's already a, a plantera bulb. So at least we know if we're going to do this, we have like one potential route. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the small arena that I built for uh, the Queen Bee a good couple of episodes ago. Not the first one, the second one. Yeah, I think I'm going to convert that into our arena. Although... Actually, looking at this, I think that is a is a decent Plantera arena. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna change up this area. Ah, and look at this. So this is the area where we're building the arena, and right here on the right, Plantera ball. Okay, yeah, I think this area was uh, was meant to be. I'm glad I chose it. The only thing is, I do need to like actually run around and, and grab more life fruit. But I just think because we spent so long doing the mechanical bosses, this area. Is probably like absolutely filled with it so that's pretty good all right so uh, it's a pretty big jump cut here not in terms of progression but today 
is actually a new day. That's right, one episode, two separate days of recording. So, why the big time skip? Well, as I was making my Plantera Arena, which I will say was a was getting pretty frustrating. Like, as a warrior, you have to do all the manpower yourself. So when you're trying to build and you're trying to defend yourself, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit annoying. So I kind of welcome the break. But basically what ended up happening is my neighbor popped around to let me know that the work on his garden was about to begin. He knows I'm a YouTuber, so, you know, he gave me the, the heads up, which I appreciated. So I decided to um, to take the rest of the day off because construction work is very loud. And, uh, and I knew that this would be loud. And it was, uh, but I took the day off to do a, a bit of my gardening work. So it ended up being a, a pretty productive day for uh, for a different reason, which was pretty nice. And his garden is looking real good. He's getting some new decking. He moved his shed. He's having it like dug down really far to get new grass. Honestly, it's gonna look fantastic. Like I can't wait to see it when it's done. So um, so that was that. But uh, but while I was uh, taking my break, I had a bit of an epiphany. And my epiphany was, James, uh, turtle armor, mate. What are you going to do about that? Because I was actually going to do Plantera with hallowed armor, feeling very confident about the, the shadow dodge effect. Like, for real, I think it's a game changer. Like, I don't know what 1.4's done, but in terms of, like, progression, it's really thrown things off for me. Like, hallowed armor, the go. It's confirmed. Uh, but then I remembered, oh, yeah, uh, turtle armor is a thing, because I don't think I've used it in so many years like i don't think i used it in the calamity mods if i did it was probably for uh, a couple of minutes and then crafted into something else and um and i don't think i used it in my switch playthrough or anything like that like if i had to put a, a date on it i would say it was probably in the original yo-yo series on chippy gaming all of those years ago so, uh, so I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it, see if it's any good. And uh, and if it is any good, we'll be moving over to it. But if not, it's all good. All right, a little coffee for cargo. Um, got some live fruit. I don't think I got to mention it, but I actually got my, my cargo mug. I spoke about it the other day, about how I was going to get it. I'm very pleased with it, cargo. I love it a lot. Very nice quality. Um, it's just great. Can I tell you a funny story, though? So back in the day, a few years ago, I was speaking about doing my first ever merch run to Courtney's parents because we were just chatting about it, right? And uh, and Courtney's dad said to me at the time, you should be careful you don't ever sell mugs. And I thought this was a very bizarre statement. Like, why mugs in particular? Right, I'm going to start sorting this out so I can tell this full story and it not go on too long. But mugs, like, why not mugs? And I was like, all right, I'll buy it. Why not mugs? And he was like, well... Um, what happens if it's filled with a hot beverage and the mug breaks? And I was just like, well, you know, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> you can't really control that, right? I guess go with a company that has good quality mugs. I think that's all you can say. But the, the most amazing part about this story is as he was saying it, the handle on his mug broke like straight off the cup and his, uh, his coffee poured all over him. And I just think like, I don't know. Is that fate? So I've never sold a mug in my life, but cargo, I, I'm very pleased, right? No hot coffee all over myself. It's good. It's going well. All right. So hallowed armor, uh, shadow dodge effect. We love it. It's go confirmed. 61 defense. Let's swap it over to the turtle armor. There's not, there's only one variant of the turtle armor, right? Like I'm not this, I'm not mad at her. No, there's one. Okay. 76 defense. Set bonuses, attackers also take double damage and reduces damage taken by 15%. So in comparison, 160, we swap it back over, 164. So lower damage, but lower damage taken. We look pretty beefy, almost like a chocolate egg. Yeah, I'm going to call it a win. I am. I'm going to call it a win. So let's see. Do, do any of these, are these materials now? No. What is that? A chlorophyte partisan shoots a spore cloud. Is that new? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. First up, though, I'm going to make the uh, the pickaxe to make mining a little bit easier, considering I'm finding mining a little bit annoying. That's 200%. This is... Is that... that what is that? I'm getting... I'm fuming about this. Right. 200% pickaxe power. 
200% pickaxe power, 110% axe power. So what's the point? I'm, I'm fuming. Because you need this to get this. A am I missing something here? Can somebody explain this to me? Like, what is going on? For real? What is going on with that? Come on now. I'm fuming about that. I'm, I'm fuming. <laughs> I'm not that bothered, but for real though, it makes no sense. All right, what is this then? Oh, another piece of life fruit. Okay. Ah, look at you. Okay. So yeah, this this is a, a spear. I'm going to Google it real quick just to see if it's new. Because I am curious. Uh, chloro... <laughs> you should see me try and uh, type chlorophyte. It's the most jank thing going. Partisan. Right. Chlorophyte partisan. It was added. Let's go to the trivia. Hashtag wiki gang for life. Oh my god. It was added in 1.2 and then updated in 1.4 and uh, yeah, it just got updated. Oh my god. I can't believe that I, I blow my own mind sometimes that I've been playing Terraria for so long but just don't recognize this at all. Oh my god. Wow. Mind blown. Okay. So, so that's out of the way. Let me go finish up the arena. I'm going to bring some boss with me, actually, because I think once it's done, uh, we should be able to get into this. Although, this is going to take a little while. Yeah, I was, I was, I was definitely overdoing this yesterday. Um, so, yeah, let me grab a shiny boy. Yeah, a little shiny boy. Are we out of day bloom now? Wow, well, we are. Okay, All right. I've been kind of living it up with the free the free potions. <laughs> like, I feel like I've had so much. Um, I don't know. I got a lot out of uh, a lot of farming at the beginning. Let's just say that. All right. So I think I'm like I don't know. I feel like I'm close to Plantera, but I also have this like gut feeling that I'm kind of on the edge of a uh, a reality check. Like I feel like right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm strong enough. You know, I've got a, a godly Terra Blade. We've got turtle armor. We're also using, you know, fairly decent accessories. You know, nothing too crazy, but also, you know, nothing too bad. Um, I don't know, though. Like, I am worried. So I think what I might do is, uh, is if I, like, kind of run into trouble with this fight, I think I'll spend next episode working on better accessories and uh and better potions because right now i haven't done too much fishing but of course if we got a prismite that would give us like an extra 100 health and obviously that would go a long way so i don't know maybe maybe it could be better maybe it couldn't uh but my arena is almost done i mean it's not the most largest arena i've ever used so i feel like I'm, i might be setting myself up for failure but we'll see we'll see i'm kind of I'm partially optimistic. I don't know. I think it's just because I had such an easy time fighting the uh, the summoner version of Plantera. I'm just like, melee has got to be easier. But I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, uh, so yeah, let's give this a go. Uh, I do not promise victory here. All I promise is uh, a learning experience. That's for sure. Like I said, I do feel like I'm walking into this maybe a little bit too confident. But we shall see. All right. Okay. It's coming up from the bottom, which is uh, pretty good for us because we're going to start at the top. Okay. Let's disable the map and let's see what goes down here. So yeah, usually you will see me with a, uh, a much larger arena, but I think what it is, is recently I'm only just starting to get used to the, the resolution that I'm playing on because for years, for those that don't know, I, uh, I played in a 720p. So, uh, so I got really used to uh, to building these giant, giant arenas, and uh, and I realised that uh, that now I don't really need that. I think I think this should be fair enough. But we'll see. Good little tip for uh, for Plantera if you're using the uh, the Eye of Cthulhu, not the Eye of Cthulhu, the Shield of Cthulhu, is to make sure that you don't dash into uh, into a bunch of the, the hookers and stuff. Because uh, cause then you'll get trapped and uh, and it's not the best. So just try and uh, circle it the best you can without relying on the dash too much. But of course, use the dash. Why not? You've got it, right? Look at me. Sounding all professional, right? You've got to get the professionalism out the way before the deaths start rolling in, you know? So if people just tune out right now, 
Wow, what a what a good bit of wisdom I've imparted them with. All right, so it's coming up to halfway. Well, there we go. It's split. So my goal is to r maintain distance and just rely on a on some of uh, some of the swords that are firing out. Yeah, it's interesting to implantera like this because I'm fighting it as a ranged, right? Like I'm keeping my distance. I'm relying on ranged attacks, but it's worse than ranged because it's melee. Do you know what I mean? It's an odd way to play, for sure, but uh, but it is what it is. I mean, if you're playing Warrior, you could also use a yo-yo here. Yo-yo versus Planteras, it's a pretty fun fight. I'd recommend it, for sure. I can't remember if it's necessarily that hard, though. You get a lot of good yo-yos at this point in the game. All right, we died. All right, learning experience. Clean up the blocks, widen the arena a little bit, and maybe get some buffs. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Today has been, um, yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's been two days in one episode. What can you expect? So, uh, so guys, thank you so much for uh, for watching today's episode. Hope you've all been well. Uh, I have been well. Yesterday was uh, was nice. It was nice to, to have a day off from Terraria, but have a good reason for it and also feel productive. I also got a, a new laptop. A new laptop came today. I was very excited about. Basically, I... Uh, I, was, I had a MacBook, and I was getting really tired of it. I bought it a, a, a couple of years ago, and it was just kind of a... It was just chugging along. So I sold my, my MacBook and an old iPad, and uh, and I got a new laptop. It's a kind of... I don't know. It's it's like... It looks businessy, but it's got a little bit of gaming power, but not too much so that I'll actually still do whatever office work I want to do on it. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out, as always... To our channel members that are rolling by on screen right now big up to the channel members much appreciated if you do want to get a, uh, a pizza next to your name in the comments down below uh, we do have a link to learn all about it also if you want your name in the credits uh, it's a little bit more but uh it supports the channel so it's all good stuff all right so i should see you tomorrow construction so that uh, should hopefully stop and and that'll be that right have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow peace Thank <laughs> you.